Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Welcome back, uh, Madam Mumbipiri. So, just tell me, how did you spend your days in prison when you woke up up to the time you went back to sleep? Uh, when, when? Thank you for coming me back. At least I feel so happy to be back home to see my family. And uh, the way it was at prison, when we woke up in the morning at 7, they could open for us. We are on parade, you count yourselves, you are saying one guana, two guana, we were 39 women in a very small cell with 10 children who are called circumstantial children. You know at prison when you are a reminder at OSCT, you are not allowed to do any work. You don't even cook for yourself. That's what happens. So you have to find convicts who do that. So the first time when I was in Kaoma, we were not allowed to, to meet because I enjoyed meeting. But when I went to Mongo, they were allowing to do skills. Knitting at least they allowed. Mm -hmm. So I was knitting. I could make bedspreads. I've come with one. When you come for my son's wedding, I made a very nice bedspread for my son. Oh, exactly. I made a mat for the president. Actually, I was making mats and selling them oh. at 800. Nice. So whoever visited would come back with maybe five because I could make a mat on a 90 kg in two days. 90 kg of what? 90 kg bag. That those sack bag, uh -huh. 50 kgs. Mm -hmm. I can even make a carpet to join with sacks. Yeah. I bought needles to distribute to my fellow inmates. They also started learning because we had our oldest woman who was there was 72 years old. Mm. And it was a family of, uh, there were nine, arrested nine. Three women and the men were on the male section. So we mainly we were knitting and I enjoyed dancing. We could get drums so here i've come i've come back as a specialist in all areas when i'm doing ulangizi i can teach karubale now mm -hmm. i can teach the rosy mm -hmm. i can teach runda and i can dance to the way they dance okay. so now i'm so sorry <laughs> as a, as a, I'm, interna I'm international balangizi now okay because nobody can 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 cheat me uh -huh. we used to cook on um on wood they used to cook on wood and because the place is very small we were always in the smoke but i enjoyed the food i didn't know that roses also eat i didn't know and they in fact they cook better than us it was so nice i even learned to I even, I even learned to eat uh, their favorite fish, singong. And you don't know how we used to eat fish at prison. Mm -hmm. Though that fish we call kayonge, yeah. uh, bubble fish. Mm -hmm. You just get it, you throw it on the fire. But up in a pankun, then muapiribula, then you make zuguru for salt. Ero mupaku diamule tobera. I enjoyed eating um, cassava leaves, chihuahua, although they cook it differently, I also taught them how to cook ours. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are some foods which they don't allow in prison, like uwoa, they don't allow. Why? Because sometimes uwoa can be poisonous. Yeah. So, you know, in prison, you're just taken there. They're not the people who arrest you. So they look after you. You know, I'd put on so much weight, mm. I reached 87. Marita, take your weight up. <laughs> 
tu komi nyo njomba ya pa jeri mm. <laughs> my sicha waka ufela uh -huh. when i got sick my weight was too much and when i was admitted in hospital if you visited the prison it was quiet when i came back we could hear that section for the men shouting they were hey I became very famous and you know those two as children, the small babies, mm -hmm. the eldest was four, about four years old. They could sing. There were ten of them. Sometimes just just hear them sing. And they didn't, it was I never knew any word except in those greeting. So I learned the laws. But when I spoke, everybody could laugh. But here, nobody can talk about me now. But one thing which I was very happy about is the party in Western Province. It's very intact. I could get visitors from as far as Rukulu, Sesheke, and everywhere. That's why now I strongly feel I should also God reserved this time for a convention not to take place so that I can also throw my candidature in it. Because but before we get there, just the activities I, I was trying to... Oh, the activities at mm -hmm. the prison. They never allow from, you... From you know, the time you wake up up to the time you go to sleep. It's... Um, you know, it, it was limited. I think that's the other thing why I put on so much weight. Mm -hmm. It was limited. The place was small. As a city, you are not allowed to work, not even to draw water, not to do anything. So what, what, time, what time would you go back to? Well, they were locking us up at 16 hours. Happy Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.